What's the cutest robot? Roby is a name. Making friends with animals. That's Roby's favorite game. On land and in the sea, in deserts in that tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Me, me, me. Let's do it. Hey, Ropey, they're huge, aren't they? These gigantic creatures are called hippos. Hippos are lovable animals who live near rivers or lakes with all their friends and family. Hippos love swimming together. They're just relaxing on the riverbank. Time for you to join them, Roby. Look, Roby, there's Mommy Hippo with her baby. Baby hippos are called calves. They stay with their mommies until they're big and strong. Mommy Hippo loves to sleep. Don't interrupt her, Roby. Hippos spend most of their time in the water. The cool water helps protect them from the hot sun. And unlike us, Roby, hippos can stay in the water for so long because their eyes, ears, and nostrils are on top of their heads. Look! This way, the hippo can still see and breathe while the rest of his body stays cool under the water. Hippos love staying cool so much that they even eat their meals in the water. Those are called water plants, and hippos can't get enough of them. Another reason why hippos love water is because they can flow from place to place like this. Look, they're like ballerinas, big ballerinas. <laughs> Funny, Roby, you're not a ballerina. But you sure can run with the hippo. <laughs> when all that swimming and running catches up with them, hippos love to take a nice long rest and get a good night's sleep. That's one tired hippo. <laughs> Sometimes hippos get so tired, they even fall asleep in the water. <laughs> Shh, Roby. Don't want to wake up Mr. Hippo. <laughs> Are you looking for a place to sit, Roby? I think these birds took all the seats. Check out the chompers on this hippo, Roby. They have big mouths and big teeth. Don't worry, Roby. They use their big teeth to play with each other. I bet you never played tag like that before. The hippos have had a long day of swimming, running, eating, and playing. I think it's time for them to go to sleep. And from the sound of your yawn, I think it's bedtime for you, too. Say goodnight to the hippos. Good night, Roby. Good night, hippos. Roby, this animal looks just like your teddy bear. <laughs> and do you know why? Because it's a real bear. But these are no teddy bears, Roby. These bears are real, and they're really big. And these really big bears live all over our really big world. Look at this white bear. He's a polar bear. And polar bears live in cold, snowy places. Polar bears have a white fur that protects them from the cold. Just like your big, warm fur hat. Having white fur helps them blend in with their white, snowy surroundings. 
And do you see all that snow? This is a frozen ocean. That's where polar bears live. It's too cold here. I think it's time we go meet some bears where it's a little warmer, Obi. Did you see that bear's nose moving? That's how he smells. Bears have very sensitive noses and can smell food from far, far away. And when a bear smells something in the air, he'll follow it. Look at him standing on two legs. He wants to get a better sniff. What's the bear doing in the river? Is that where the food is? That's it. He's trying to catch a fish. And here's Mama Bear and her little baby bears. They're called cubs, and they're super cute. They just love to play. While the cubs play, Mama Bear likes to take a nap. It's a lot of work caring for the cubs. And this baby bear has a great game, climbing to the tippy tops of trees using his long claws. Another thing bears do with their claws is scratch themselves all over, even their noses. <laughs> After a long day of eating, climbing trees and scratching, this bear is ready for bed. Good night, Roby. Good night, bears. <laughs> It looks like you're ready to ride, Roby. Do you know what animal this is? That's right, it's a horse. Horses are some of the biggest and most beautiful animals in the world. And did you see that, Roby? It's the horse's mane. A mane is the name of the hair on the horse's head. Your mane is beautiful too, Roby. Horses have four big, strong legs that support their heavy bodies and help them run really fast. Horses love to run. Look how fast they are. That's called galloping. Let's race the horses, Roby. <laughs> Don't feel bad, Roby. Horses are some of the fastest animals in the world. That's a foal. A baby horse. It's only been a few hours since this foal was born, and already he can stand up and walk. And in just a few days, a foal like this will be able to run with his friends. But even though foals can run with their friends, they still love staying close to their mamas. And just like babies, foals love to drink milk. Lots of milk. This little guy's hungry. And I see you're hungry too, Roby. Bon appetit. Don't be scared, Roby. That's just the horse name. A neigh is the sound horses make when they want to talk to each other. That's it, Roby. I think the horses heard you. When horses aren't running and playing, they're eating. Their favorite food is grass and hay. Hay is for horses, not Roby's. Horses are very friendly and love spending time together. I'm sure the horses would love to be friends with you, too. <laughs> and do you know how they show their love for their family and friends? 
They help keep each other clean. It looks like you're ready to ride, Roby. Okay, go have fun with your new friends, Roby. Giddy up! Be careful, Roby. Don't be scared, Roby. This is just a dog, and he's wagging his tail from side to side because he's happy. Are you happy now too, Roby? Most dogs love people. Some say that a dog can be your best friend. Look at all these dogs, Roby. They come in so many different shapes, sizes, and colors. There are small dogs and big dogs like this. Some dogs have really short hair. And some have really long hair like this. Poor Shaggy Dog can't see because he has so much hair covering his eyes. Even though dogs look so different, they're also a lot alike. Dogs have a very good sense of smell. They use their noses to find things they need. Like food. Dogs love to eat. And eat. And eat. All that eating makes dogs thirsty. Dogs have big tongues they use to get the water into their mouths. Good idea, Roby. You can use a straw to drink. Dogs also have super hearing. See, Roby? The dog can hear you from all the way over there. That's a dog barking. Barking is a dog's way of talking. <laughs> Good try, Roby, but I think we should leave the barking to dogs. Dogs are also super friendly. Look how happy this one is to see you. And remember how we know when dogs are happy? That's right, Roby. They wag their tails from side to side. And what makes dogs really happy is playing. They love to play with each other and with people. Yeah, and with Robies, too. Look at these baby dogs, Roby. Aren't they cute? Do you know what baby dogs are called, Roby? They're called puppies. And like little babies, they love to play. And also like babies, puppies spend most of their time with their mommies. Their mommy gives them lots of milk so they can become big and strong. After a long day of playing, it looks like this dog needs some rest. And you need some rest too. There you go, Roby. Have a good night. <laughs> Who's the cutest robot? Roby is a name. Making friends with animals. That's Roby's favorite game. On land and in the sea, in deserts in that tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Me, me, me. Let's Hey, Roby, you really like this deer, don't you? He's very shy, but he must like you very much since he's letting you take photos. Deer live all over the world in many different places. 
Some deer live in cold places and have white fur. That's right, Roby. Their fur matches the color of the snow. <laughs> White is your color, Roby. Some deer live in the forest and have brown fur. Yes, Roby, like that. There are even deer with spots. Wanna see? I wonder what you would look like with spots, Roby. Not bad, Roby. <laughs> Those are pretty cool, aren't they? They look just like horns, but they're actually antlers. And only male deer have them. Male deer use their antlers for protection against bigger animals. And sometimes they use them to have competitions with other deer to see who's stronger. Look out, Roby! There you are, Roby! You landed right next to a herd! A herd is what a large group of deer is called. They're really great friends. They even help groom each other. But what deer love most of all is eating. And eating. And eating. Deer eat lots of grass, and even leaves from trees. <laughs> grass is for deer, not rovies. Now let me show you something really cute. This cute baby deer is called a fawn. Fawns are little and spend most of their time with their mamas. But sometimes when the mamas need to run an errand, the other deer babysit. Or Fawnset is more like it. <laughs> deer have very powerful eyesight and super hearing. They can hear their baby fawns from far away. Deer are just like one big happy family. Do you want to hang out some more with your new deer friends, Roby? Okay, then you better hurry and catch up with them. Bye, Roby. Have fun. Robbie? Yes, all this water is called an ocean. Do you want to see something really awesome? These beautiful creatures are called fish. They come in so many different colors, sizes, and shapes. These are fish. This is a fish. Even these are fish. <laughs> yes, fish are cool, Robbie. Look, there are a lot of fish. When fish swim together, it's called a school of fish. Look out for that big fish, little friends. That's a lionfish, Robbie. Fish has two eyes, just like us. Count them out with me. One and two. And look, that fish has a mouth, too. Fish eat all kinds of things, Robbie. This one likes to eat rocks for breakfast. Yes, rocks. But you and I will stick with cereal and fruit for our breakfast. <laughs> And do you know how fish breathe? Let's go and ask. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Fish. Can you show me how you breathe underwater? Fish have gills to help them breathe. Take a look. Oh, I forgot to tell you something extra cool about fish. 
You see how this fish moves so smoothly through the water? That's because fish have fins and tails to help them swim fast. Do you want to have a race with the fish, Robbie? Okay, let's go. Ready, set, go. And they're off. And it's Mr. Fish by a nose, gills, and a tail. Good try, Robbie. Are you tired from the race, Robbie? You're not the only sleepy one in this ocean. Take a look. You see, even though their eyes are open, they're actually sleeping. It's how fish sleep. I think it's time for us to get to bed too, Robbie. Say goodnight to all our new fish friends. Creatures are called ducks, and they're just about to get up and start their day. Look, Mr. Duck is up now and ready to play. Ducks come in many different colors. There's a brown one, and a black one, and... Yes, this one even has some green on him. Look how beautiful he is. It must be great fun being a duck. Spending all your time in big groups with friends and family. These big groups are called flocks. You're very funny, Roby. You just made a flock of Robies. <laughs> and when they're together, they love doing fun things. Like swimming. Ducks aren't just fast swimmers, they're fast flyers too. Watch. Good job, Roby. You won. Look, this is a baby duck, and baby ducks are called ducklings and hatch from an egg. Baby ducks learn how to swim soon after they hatch. They just hop in the water and follow their mommy. And if the ducklings swim too far away, the mommy duck just quacks to get them back. That's right, Roby. Ducks talk to each other by quacking. Check out their funny feet. Did you ever see anything like it? Yeah, ducks have special feet that help them paddle underwater. Ducks can stay in the water as long as they want because their feathers are waterproof. See how they take good care of their feathers? Those are some fancy feathers, Roby. You look great. Dinner time, duckies. Those are beaks, Roby. Like all birds, ducks too have beaks to help them eat seeds and drink. Good job, Roby. Even though you don't have a beak, you can eat just like a duck. This is funny. The ducks are looking for food underwater. They can do that too. You may look like a duck and quack like a duck, but you're still not a duck, Roby. Ducks love to fly. That's how they travel from one place to another, just like you. Bye-bye, ducks. Bye-bye, Roby. Look, someone just climbed the tree. Do you know who it was? That's a monkey, Roby. Look at him climb. You can fly, Roby. You don't need to climb like the monkeys. Monkeys come in all different colors and sizes. Some monkeys are brown. Some are black and white. And some have red heads. 
Look at this one! Monkeys look a lot like us. They have eyes, a mouth, and a cute little nose. They can hold their food just like us and even stand up. <laughs> I don't think you want to eat that, Roby. Monkeys love fruit, too. Monkeys also love to eat leaves and pods that fell off the trees. And monkeys have something we don't. That's right, a tail. The tail helps them balance themselves and climb trees. <laughs> you should practice, Roby. They're really experts when it comes to climbing. Even baby monkeys can climb really well. Look, Roby. These little guys sure love to play, just like in kindergarten. You want to play too, Roby? Maybe another time. Just like us, the monkeys love to be with their families. Together they play, relax, eat, and have lots of fun. Look at this baby monkey. He's so small. He just loves being close to his mommy where he feels safe. Looks like fun, right? See the hair this monkey has on his body? It's fur. All monkeys have it. It keeps them warm and protects them. Just like clothes. And what about cleaning? They clean each other and take out all the dirt from the fur like this. Monkeys love to have company. That's why they all eat at the same time. You better hurry, Roby, if you want to catch up with the monkeys. Bye-bye, Roby. See you soon. Bye.